How's it going, everyone? Um, William Nye here. Uh, I want to speak a little bit louder because in my other video, you couldn't hear me as well. So what I'm going to do is just, you know, try to project as much as I can. I don't want to be like screaming because I'm trying to, I don't know, I just don't like talking very loud. Um, primarily because it's 1 a.m. and when I usually do these at this time, people are sleeping, so don't really want to wake anyone up. Um, anyways, you, you I, there are a lot of topics and subjects that I want to talk about, and I'm not trying to be like some sort of preacher. I'm not trying to be um, some sort of amazing evangelist here. All I'm trying to do is is hopefully encourage and in, and inspire people and, and and those are my, those have been my two words um practically this semester um as as I'm going into my studies and I'm going into into another semester here at Liberty University and I'm and I'm engaging people on a day-to-day -day basis I'm talking with people on a day-to-day -day basis and I and I'm noticing that everything I do will will in turn bring about something good or will bring about something bad and and I'm I'm trying my hardest to to make sure that the actions that I do every day bring about the the glory of God Facebook message okay um first of all um I want to just give a brief amazing testimony of what God has been doing in my life um, just to encourage you guys uh, I hope it I hope it really hits home it hits, hits home with me because obviously it's like testimony that pertains to my life as of now but I I pray it encourages you and like throughout your trials and throughout your struggles that you will will you know take on the same mindset that I have um, I don't want you to have the I don't want you to I know we're not all the, we're, I know we're not all the same but we need to have a mindset and, and I want to tell you what my mindset has been going into this semester from day one I have stopped thinking about Okay, so how is this going to affect me now? How am I how am I going to get through this? How am I going to go another day? How am I going to pay for this? How am I going to pay for that? Um who who really cares about me? And yes, I mean, we all have those thoughts that go through our mind. Um we all have those thoughts like do these people really care about me? Um and and I, I want to talk about that some uh, later on. But 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 in the beginning of the semester, I, I, I know, I, I know, I knew, and I know now, currently, and I know in the future, I know that in the future, there will always be, there will always be trials, and there will always be adversity. So, throughout whatever happens, that I, like, I know I won't be able to control that. Um, I know God is in control of my life. Um, like I know that I've come to terms with that, and. And the, and the thing is, so many so many of us want to have control over our own lives. And I'm not trying to, I'm not, now, please don't, please don't just shut me off when I say this. But yes, when we, we, most of the times we do want control of our lives. And a lot of the time I don't want to admit it because when when I'm holding on to something, it, it, it feels secure to me, you know, um, say say when you have money in your hand as compared to like money in your bank it feels more real when it's when it's right there close to you next to you your is tangible um a lot of times we want we want our faith or we want we want our lives to be totally tangible when in fact um we're supposed to base our lives off of God, and if you're basing your lives off of a God and His will, then you have to base it off of faith, and faith is the substance of things not seen, the evidence of things not seen. So, yes, 
A lot of times we want to have control over our lives, but is that really what we need to be doing? Is, is, is what we need to be doing trying to control our own lives and trying to... And and, and I, also forgive me because I will be going off on on who knows many numerous tangents um, th- throughout when I when I talk um, I have surrendered my control and total control I, I like I don't care and and I don't want it to be like I don't I just don't care anymore I'm done with this it's not like it's not like the Flippant, I don't care, whatever, God, attitude. I actually, I I have the, you know, whatever your will is for me, God, that is my will. Like, do I, do I know 100% for sure what I want to do with my major in the future? Absolutely not. Do I have a good idea? Yeah. I mean, I switched my majors like five times, but... Do I still know what I want to do? I want to go through my exercise science major. I want to pursue that, get a degree in that. After that, I want to go and become a chiropractor. Is that what's going to happen? Who knows? God knows. But God knows my passions. And God, the cool thing is... We think we think we can't give up control because if we give up control, that our he's gonna take away all our passions, and that is not, that is not at all. How, like maybe maybe like sometimes that is how God works. He he will take you out of a comfortable situation, and he will, if you are truly living for him and you are truly surrendering all for him, getting out of your comfort zone, reaching out to people you will see drastic changes in your life you will and 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 that's a fact like there's no there's no you might see it it's possible you could see it i know from 100% internal experience and outward experience like you surrender that control you let god take the control and you just say whatever whatever you want God and four weeks have gone by in this semester and I I feel so alive and I feel so in tune with God am I always in my Bible no I'm unfortunately not am I always am I always having my Bible open and praying 24-7. No, unfortunately not. And I want to be totally honest in that. Like, none of us can honestly say that we do everything right. We do everything God wants us to do. I still sin. I'm still a sinner, but I am still redeemed daily by God's grace and God's mercy for me. What we need to do is have a mindset and that is what our Christianity needs to become it needs to become a relationship and a mindset rather than a religion and rules now yes there are rules that we need to follow as Christians but when 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 we wrap up the whole sum of Christianity into just these rules and these these things we have to follow and and, and you you have to do this and do this and you have to give to people and you have to you have to surrender surrender your lives and just give everything away just give your whole heart give your whole soul give your whole mind literally like surrender it like be like god this is seriously yours i am yours and when we come to terms with that and we actually do that things will drastically change and in a good way in a good way you will still have trials everyone will still have trials and and to be honest the more the more you the more you face those trials and the more you grow god will give you harder trials and when you live for him 
there's not a ceasing of 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 these problems they pretty much exponentially grow as you go along in your christian faith because you are growing then that's what god does for you um that's what god does in your life to grow you is he gives you the hard trials but you know in, in the front of your mind you can overcome them because anything that god gives you he gives, also gives you the strength to overcome right um as long as you're not trying to control life yourself so i want to just encourage you with that and keep god on the front of your mind each and every day and don't forget what he does for us each and every day don't forget the blessings that we are constantly giving given and don't forget the blessings that we are constantly being like like each and every breath each and every heartbeat every time you get to talk to someone whether it's just small talk just casual it doesn't matter what kind of communication you have when you reach out to someone and you talk to someone be intentional and and I know I want to get on all those subjects later but for now seriously just throw your hands up and say I'm done living for myself because yeah I've I I've I've, I've done it I'm do, I'm done with living for myself because it's so lonely I hate it I hate living for myself I feel alone I just feel I just felt terrible inside and I'm not doing that anymore. God, you are in control of my life. You are awesome. Thank you for everything you've done, God. Help everyone to know that you love them. Just like give them peace and just that they can surrender everything to you and they don't have to worry about the future, God. Thank you so much. Your son's, your son's name I pray. Amen. You guys are awesome. Just stay stay tuned for more videos in the future. I'm sorry. These videos are long. Um, you don't have to watch them all if you don't want to. But, you know, they're, they're to encourage you. So if you need encouragement, watch these videos. Not only if you need encouragement. These are, these are supposed to be educational too. So, like, if you need... If you want to talk about something, please, I'd be happy, happy to talk to you. Um, do I know everything? No. But I just tell you what God tells me. It's pretty much what, how it, what it boils down to. So um, I love you all. God bless. And William Knott is out for the night. So good night.